Good morning, Matt Soper here, Hampshire Carnivorous Plants. And if you've bought one of our seed growing kits, there's the Saracenia Hardy mix and the Venus Flytrap mix. This is what you'll get. The only difference being, this is the Saracenia Hardy mix. You'll get two packets of seed with roughly 40 seed, probably a few more. Three propagating covers, three plastic pots, compost, and some capillary mat. Now what you do with everything is get yourself a tray or a plant saucer, similar to this. This is a glazed terracotta one. Always use glaze, don't use uh, terracotta because if they're porous, you'll find that if it's second hand, you can get some nasties leaching into the water, which aren't good for the seedlings. Now, I've already cut my piece of capillary mat to size to fit this particular uh, dish. You can see here, it it's, uh, has a plastic side on the back. This plastic side goes down like this. And then I'll soak that with some rainwater here. Put quite a bit in there. That will soak through into the matting. So there, this is about a centimetre of rainwater in here. I'll put that to one side for now. Now, the seed. I like to use a piece of white paper. And empty the seed out onto the paper. Like so. There we go. You can see how big they are. These are Saracenia. This is a mixture from a bog garden collected this year. So when they're larger, you can pop them out and grow them outside year round in the bog garden yourself. Or they do equally equally as well in an unheated greenhouse. In the packet. There we go. So that's all our seed. As I said, there is a, a brief germination guide in with the uh, seed, but I will run through all of this with you now so you don't have to look at that if you don't want to. So there's all our seed. Another thing that's worth pointing out, all these seeds, since they've been collected, have been kept refrigerated. And when I say refrigerated, you want, if you're gonna keep refrigerating them, keep them longer yourself, put them in where the eggs go in the fridge. Um, I don't recommend you keeping them longer than about three or four years. The longer you keep them, the germination rate drops off considerably, especially after five years. I'm not saying you won't get them to germinate, but fresh seed, you'll get a lot more germinating. And as for time of year for doing this, personally, I found I can do this all year round, even now, if you're gonna germinate them now, I'll do it indoors on a, on a warm window sill. And when you get them up to you know, relatively small size, by next spring, they can go into your unheated greenhouse or a very sunny conservatory, and you've almost bypassed one winter dormancy, which you can do for the first year with seedlings. So you could do this now, or keep them refrigerated and do it in the spring. Right, now back to what to do. So there's my seed, you go over there. There's the compost. This is our own formulated seed grown compost. Fill this up. Put some into each pot, like that. One. I said you get three pots, two, three, there we are. I like to pack them off, keep it quite level. What I do on the tops of them myself, I break the compost up quite small, just so the initial root from the seed can take purchase and uh, you know, settle itself in to start with. There we go, let's tuck that down a little bit. Put more on that one. Right, job done. So next we get our seed, put it on the white paper. Down into my hand. Now, I'm like a lot of plant seeds. These do not like to be buried. These like to just sit on the surface. 
This is where a lot of people go wrong, especially Saracenia. So he just sprinkles them sparsely, not too close together, like this. Got quite a few here. There we go. Right. Now that's all well and good, but some of you that grow a lot of carnivorous plant from seed will probably notice that this is fairly dry, this compost. So you don't want that you want them to germinate nice and quickly so you pop them into your saucer or tray of rainwater like so and they'll start to soak up the rainwater from below but what I would do I've got this lovely little pink sprayer here is to just gently spray the soil surface there they are you see that yeah, I'm moving around a little bit. By the way, this is rainwater in here. We're using rainwater. And it will help get them going quicker. Once you've given them a little spray, you can then pop on the propagating lids. One for each pot. Like so. Now you might notice in the tops of these, you've got like a little Vent, I would keep them closed down when you first start to get the seed to germinate. Once they start to germinate, you can pop that open until they start to produce their first true leaves, or the first few seeds do produce their first true leaves. Now, all this would best be placed in a heated propagator, which would be fantastic. You really would speed up germination in a heated propagator. You don't have to use a heated propagator. You could put them on a sunny, self-facing windowsill above a radiator. But anything with a bit of warmth will speed up germination, especially if you're going to try this at this time of year. And just to let you know, it's, it's November here now, they're mid, midway through November. As I said, you can start them at any time of year, but the best time would be probably February, March. But as I say, I've had success year round with them. After spraying them over the top and withstanding in the rainwater from below, they'll soon get quite damp and the seedlings usually germinate between six to eight weeks. So after that time, is some I did earlier, in blue piece of fashion. Let's have a close look here. Can you see, here are some here just starting to germinate. Yeah, yeah. Here the first two, you can see the seed on the end of this, the first two leaves. And these few here have got their first true pictures. I would leave those there in situ at the moment. Once they get to about two and a half, three centimetres high, then you can prick each one out individually and put them into a very small individual pot, or I would put four into a pot this size, and away you go. Now from seed to maturity, when I say maturity, I mean like a flowering size plant, usually takes between four and six years with the Saracenia. With the Venus flytrap, it takes about three years. As I said earlier, the difference with this kit and the Venus flytrap kit, um, the way of growing them is exactly the same. The differences are you'll get one pot on one pack of flytrap seed. And also I find that the Venus flytraps do germinate a bit quicker. I find I get them germinating between four and six weeks. As I say, the Saracen is six to eight weeks. Now, if you do store the seed, I've got to say this again, keep it in the fridge where the eggs are. And if you don't have success with them germinating the first time, you can take your pots, if they don't germinate after eight weeks, you can put the, one of the pots in a plastic bag seal the top, pop it in your fridge, refrigerator, for about two or three weeks, and then have another go. That stratifies the seed and that can sometimes kickstart them into germinating. Um, I never give up with Saracenia seed. Now, Penthes are a different story, but Saracenia seed invariably will get some of them to come up for sure. And where they're fresh, you should get a good germination rate. Anyway, I hope that's helped. And that's how 
we grow and how you should grow your seed kit uh, if you buy one from us. Thanks for watching.